All right. I just wanted to show you guys this. There's uh, a lot of cord cells out there. But uh, they don't usually have a current control built into them. You see, I just got like a crude cell here made out of a Keesler's jar, actually. Just kind of temporary to test things out. Got a vent tube going over to a container. <laughs> and that's a lye or sodium. Uh, whatever caustic soda mixture which will scrub the chlorine out basically uh, makes it suitable for running indoors just watch out for the caustic soda mixture because you don't want to be touching that uh, anyways back to the point of this video what we have here is a uh, rheostat for a household basically to a light dimmer the interesting thing about this one is it's got a on and off push it which I have my uh, green wire I believe it is hooked up to the on and off so I can just uh, manually turn the whole thing on and off uh, light bulb here just a uh, Spare parts left over from a derby car. Some people say you need to provide a uh, power source. And I believe that one's hooked up to the 12 volt. The cell itself is running off of the uh, 3 volt. Or the 5 volt I should say. As I found out. I don't need this. Actually on here. To make it operate. But anyways. We got the uh, rheostat here. I don't know if you can see in here the amount of bubbles changing. But I can actually change the amount of current flowing into my cell and control it through that rheostat itself. I don't know if you can see the dis difference or not. But thing is it's a 120 volt AC power I do some modifications there's a transistor and stuff in there I had to cut out and eliminate and uh, do some modifications there's a coil kind of one of those resistor coils in there too as well it had to be eliminated and basically it's just hooked through power supply into the resistor or the resistor over to the cell itself uh, it's a little tricky figuring it out but basic electrical knowledge I managed to figure it out so that was pretty interesting I hadn't seen that around anywhere it was a five six twelve dollar uh, light switch dimmer and uh, I thought it was cool because I can just shut the cell off turn the cell back on so yeah uh, curious about the scrubber it's a sodium something or other mixture lye caustic soda other name for it and essentially running chlorine through it as this is doing to scrub the chlorine out of it so we don't get chlorine gas into my house it uh, ends up as a side result making bleach which I found rather amusing because when I first started playing with quartz and whatnot the first thing I tried doing was boiling bleach which I found to be too much of a headache and hassle and won't ever be bothered with again it was a fun learning experiment, but yeah. This freaking bulb's hot, man. Should have pulled that out sooner. Oh well. Um, I don't know if you can actually see it or not. 
out here. Stop playing with your fucking dreams. We basically just bolted in through one of the uh, screws in the case itself. Kind of holds it there. I'm waiting on a MMO anode and uh, cath cathode set coming from a. Uh, can't remember what website I found it on, but it's a, like seven inch diameter. It's kind of a circular shape. One fits inside the other one. It looks like it'll be great. They're actually on sale now, hundred bucks as opposed to hundred and fifty. And once I get those, I'll make a actual decent sell. For now, I'm just playing. It's more of a proof of concept kind of thing. So yeah. Enjoy. Have fun. Don't blow your fucking fingers and shit off.